Hello, hello everyone. It's Val at my little main cottage coming to you from the porch. A little chilly out here, but I've got a nice warmy sweater on. So I just wanted to uh, show you um, a few of the Pepin papers that I have. I've had a couple of questions about what is Pepin paper. So Pepin paper are um, creative papers. They, they have such a nice texture to them. Some of them are smooth. This is kind of a mat. I've um, stained the back of the papers and ironed them really nicely. They're wonderful to use in journals. Um, many different types of designs. So I'm gonna show you what the books look like. Let's see, let me back out just a little bit. I'm gonna lay that down and see if I can smoothly back out just a little bit. There you go. Okay, so this one is a brand new one. I've already used up my William Morris papers, but this is an extra one that I have. Here is where you can go to look online, pepinpress.com. Um, the name is, I think, Pepin Van Rugen. That's what I've always known it to be. But anyway, for years they've produced these beautiful papers. This one, of course, is William Morris. This one is uh, Vincent Van Gogh papers. They're just beautiful. Just going to give you a bit of a look-see there so you can see what they're like. And this particular book, all the papers are matte in it but let me see if i can show you what some of them oh yeah under here i've got some that are kind of shiny i don't know if you can see the shine on it but they're quite large these ones here are really white on the back so if i didn't use them to cover something um or you know whatever like that i would uh stain the back myself but that's just me that's just my art my my style here's one vienna just love these papers so therefore um they could be used as gift wrap i suppose um i don't do that but and here's another one um i just use them for pages or for envelopes or decorative elements you could actually fussy cut some of the imagery off them so yeah yeah they're they're great look here's maps all kinds of maps here's uh flower prints i think this is one of the first ones that i bought I'm pretty fortunate that I haven't ordered too many of these online. I have uh, a store that's, oh, I don't know, probably 20 or 30 miles away from me. I, I don't know. I haven't really measured the distance, but it's north on the coast, and um, that's where I buy mine. And they keep them in stock, and they have all kinds of them. See, some, some of them have shiny paper, but you can always gesso over the, the shiny paper. Uh, here's some art forms in nature. They are so pretty. Okay, so I hope that answers uh, the questions that I've had. I really appreciate you guys keeping me on my toes because I say stuff and then I don't think about goodness. People might not realize what I'm talking about, so please keep those questions coming. All right, you guys, I'm gonna let you go, but now you know what Pepin paper is, and yeah, you can go to the Pepin Press. All right, take care, bye.